Before we start sketching for our past, present, and future watercolor paintings, we want to set up the borders of our paper. So you can see I already set up two, and I'm going to do my last one here. We're trying to create a Polaroid effect, so we're creating a border that's equal on three sides but bigger on the bottom. So that way our drawing and painting is a square on our rectangle paper. So here's what we need to do. With a ruler and a pencil, we're going to go ahead and measure a quarter of an inch from the side, top, and side. And what's really important with these small measurements is that we measure twice. So I'm going to, from the very top edge, measure a quarter of an inch and go over to the opposite edge and measure a quarter of an inch and then connect those lines. And even with measurements this small, it helps to have a pretty sharp pencil um, because you want to be able to make sure that you're hitting that line perfectly. So I'll do the same on this side, a quarter of an inch at the bottom. We do wanna be light because we will later erase these, but it's really, really important that you're marking at both sides so that way you know you have a straight line. If you only mark in the middle, the chances are that it is not gonna be quite right. So the last side, again, a quarter of an inch and another quarter of an inch. And here I will mark this line. And now I'm going to mark four inches from the top line. So I'm going to mark twice again. I'm gonna measure four inches from that top line that I drew, four inches. And this way I have a four by four inch square that I'm going to be doing my drawing inside of. So now that I have all three, I'm gonna go ahead and carefully tape these down on this um, extra cardboard. You could do three individual pieces of cardboard um, or you could tape them down on one piece of cardboard. It is totally up to you, but it's important that we have nice crisp borders. So I'm going to go ahead and do my very, very best to line my tape up with my pencil. I'm gonna lightly tap it and then I'm gonna make sure that that is really, really smooth because we want it to be like water tight. We don't want the water to bleed. We want crisp borders. So you're gonna do that on all sides, making sure you line it up as best you can. If you happen to have painter's tape, you could totally use blue or green painter's tape, but masking tape is also good. Do this side and then once I have one, I'm going to go ahead and do my second and third and then I will be ready to sketch. It's important that I do this first so I'm not sketching outside of my area um, that I'll have to later erase. So there is one down and I have two to go and I'll be ready to start sketching and then next paint.